I'm sitting in a restaurant, a new restaurant in Eagle, Idaho, on the banks of the Boise River. It's a gorgeous, beautiful day. There have been a lot of forest fires this summer, and things have been very smoky up till now. But the weather's clearing, and life is changing. It's like that everywhere you go and everything you do. Life is dynamic. It never sits still. It's always moving, either forward or backwards, depending on you. It's your life. It's your choice. It's your decisions that govern and control. And they will always work to your benefit if you're in accord with God's plan for your life. Now, it's pretty hard to figure that plan out if you're so busy running around like a chicken without a head that you don't have any idea what you're trying to accomplish. Are you stressed? Are you pressured? Do the circumstances and events in your life control your decisions? Or do you make the decision and then go make something happen? May I remind you that successful people make things happen. Failures, they just make excuses. There's no acceptable excuse to fail in the United States of America. Unless, of course, you're lazy. Unless, of course, you don't have a dream and you refuse to get a dream. You know, gang, life is an inside-out proposition. What happens inside precedes always what's going to happen outside. You were given the free use of your own mind unencumbered. You and you alone control what you allow into it, and you and you alone control all of the decisions based upon the thoughts you have. Change your thoughts, change the way you think, and you'll change your entire life. Remember, your example is always on display. Consequently, you hide nothing from anyone but yourself. Yeah. Kind of ironic. God's got quite a sense of humor, doesn't he? The only one spaked out by you is you. And you can turn it all around by just flipping a switch and starting to think different thoughts and make better decisions. Now, can you do that? Absolutely, I know you can. <laughs> but that's not the question. The question is, will you? And since you control your own decisions, only you can answer that question. Now, many, many years ago, over 50 years ago, I hunted and fished this Boise River right here. This was way out in the country, outside of Boise. There was nothing out here but wild animals and birds. It's grown up. It's all been built up now. The river's still the same place, but everything else is different. Change is a way things happen in life. So I guess what I'd like to just ask you is, if you want things better than what they are now in your life, are you willing to make some better decisions and then do something about it? Are you willing to change? I certainly hope you are, because that's when life gets exciting. When you know who you are, when you know where you're going, and you know how you're going to get there. When you reach that point in life, the only thing that you have to then do is go to work and never give up until you reach your destination. Get a can-do attitude, get an I will attitude, and don't let any obstacle keep you from where you want to go. That takes a mighty dream and you're going to have to work. But God enabled you to do it. There's not one recorded history in America of any man dying from work. So quit being afraid of it. And start making something new happen in your life right now. I know you can. It won't happen until you know you can. And that begins inside your ears, not outside. Change your thoughts and you'll change your life. Peace and love to all of you. Papa Bear.